Hi, it's Dr. Cliff Olson from Applied Hearing Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to clean and maintain an in-the-ear hearing aid. Coming up. Maintaining an in-the-ear hearing aid generally takes a little bit more attention than a hearing aid that sits on top of or behind your ear. And the reason is because it's basically living inside of your body. Uh, it's a harsher environment than one that sits on top of your ear because it's exposed to more body moisture, uh, more earwax, and things like that. So maintaining it properly is essential if you want to keep the device performing as well as it did the day that you were first fit with it, and if you want that hearing aid to last as long as possible. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you several simple things that you can do at home in order to clean your in-the-ear hearing aid. When we're getting ready to clean a hearing aid, we need to make sure we have a few things. First is either an alcohol swab or a Kleenex. I prefer alcohol swab, but some people don't like to use them. The next would be a bore punch like this. You would need a cleaning tool that has a brush on it, a wire pick, and perhaps even a bore punch on the end of that, and then wax trap changers like this. Most hearing aid manufacturers have their own, but that's something that you'll need for this particular in-the-ear device that I'm going to be working with. For an in-the-ear device like this, we have a few things that we need to keep in mind. This part right here in tan color is essentially what's going to be showing outside of the ear, and then everything in red is the portion that goes inside of the ear. So we're going to start off at first and we're gonna give the hearing aid a wipe down. Any type of earwax that would be on that hearing aid, we wanna make sure that we get the big chunks of it off. And of course, if you are the type of person who likes to make sure that the hearing aid is disinfected, we would use an alcohol swab or alcohol pad and clean it off with that. So now that we have all of the earwax off of the shell of the hearing device, we need to go in and make sure we do some uh, more maintenance with our cleaning brush here. So what we'll do with the cleaning brush is we'll take and we want to brush over the openings of the microphones that are on either side of this push button here. Any hearing aid that you clean will have its own microphone slits that you will want to brush any kind of debris or dirt off of while you're cleaning the device. You also want to make sure that if that button is not right around those microphones that you give the button a good brushing as well. Debris can build up on this button and prevent it from, be, uh, from being effective. Also here on this device we have a volume wheel. Same thing applies here. If grime gets inside of where that volume wheel turns, it won't let it turn effectively and you'll have issues with that where it needs to be replaced. So we're basically going to brush off the entire face plate on this device, brushing off any debris that may have built up on it. We can open the battery door on this device and we can take the brush and gently clean out the inside of it, of any debris that has gotten in there. If you neglect this portion of it, eventually you'll build up so much debris inside of that opening that the battery won't be able to make contact with the device and it won't power on. So, very simple. We have it all brushed off. That's clean and ready to go. Now we need to focus on the inside portion of it, or the very tip that goes inside of the ear. What you'll see here is a little white tip. We need to make sure that we change that out. That is a wax trap. So this little kit that we have here is a bunch of wax trap exchangers. And so how this works is we have a new end with the new wax trap and a removal end that we can take out the old one. So how this works is we're going to take and punch it in the center of that wax trap just like that. It should hold on to it nicely and then we will pop it out. We will flip over the other direction and we'll put in the new one, push it in and pull it out and you can see that the new one is now in there and staying put. The majority of time that a hearing aid is not working, either this wax trap is clogged with earwax or the battery needs to be changed. On top of that, 
This particular hearing aid has a little vent hole that you probably can't see very well here on the camera, but you want to make sure that you clean that out as well. And for that, we will take this bore punch and we will start at the end that is inside of the ear and we will snake it all the way through out the back end by the face plate. And so any debris that would have built up in there, we will now push out. It's very important, if, if that becomes plugged, you'll have this sensation of things uh, sounding like you're in a barrel or your own voice is sounding very boomy. So we wanna make sure that we get that taken care of. When you're done with that, the hearing aid is pretty much clean at this point. We wiped it down, either with an alcohol pad or with a Kleenex. We punched the bore or the, the vent hole with our bore punch. We changed out the wax trap and we brushed off the entire face, face plate, including the microphone covers. So there you have it. Those are the three simple things that you can do from the comfort of your own home to maintain the cleanliness of your device. One of the things that you should also be doing is using a dehydrator kit. As we all know, moisture is the enemy of electronics. And with the in-the-ear hearing aid, it's subject to more moisture damage. So if you want to keep the hearing device performing for as long as possible and at the highest quality possible, you need to be using a dehydrator kit. Now there are a variety of different types of dehydrator kits, some that use silica beads to remove moisture from devices, some that use a heating tray to remove moisture, and others that force warm air through the device and then absorb uh, the moisture through the silica beads. Some of those dehydrator units work better than others, but at the end of the day, you absolutely should be using one of them. On top of that, at a minimum of every six months, you should be going in to see your audiologist to have your hearing aid cleaned out professionally. This will, again, maintain the, the clarity in the hearing aid and it will maintain the longevity of the hearing aid. Unless you wanna be buying new devices every couple of years, I highly recommend that you go in and get your hearing devices professionally cleaned and then maintain them uh, in between those appointments on your own. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up.